The ultimate troll, 50 Cent, is back, but this time he takes it to boxing. Uh, he details recent run-in with Gerald Merrill and Deontay Wilder. Uh, it basically adds more fuel to the fight with his Instagram videos. Let's get into this one. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell and that subscribe button. Today I'm bringing you Khalil Robinson. All his links are below. He's out of Kansas City area. Go click his SoundCloud or everything else. The music's dope, guys. Go check it out below. My thoughts got to glistening. People hissing and visiting visions with precisions. With I make amends to get to get the cheese. And if you want to run ads in the channel, it's Jordan Tower Media gmail.com. Well, 50 Cent goes in. He tells a story on his Instagram trolling by a bunch of memes to instigate something or a number of comments to set these guys off. Basically, he says that uh, recent run-in with boxers Gerald Miller and Deontay Waller. He uh, starts out the story by saying that like he was at a fitness competition, ran into Big Baby, and then uh, he was with Deontay. Apparently, Miller wanted to fight Deontay. Uh, but after uh, they gave him a concussion in a previous fight, 50 using his skills, like, you know, was investigating the whole situation, uh, figured out that someone was lying to him about something. Okay, so uh, then he does another video and he explains that the two share one thing in common, that the girl Deontay is with, according to 50, Miller told him that he used to sleep with that girl before he did so, he's, he's got the leftovers. He's the one saying, how do I taste, bro? So, uh, 50 is putting a private conversation on blast to start this fight between the two. And this is what a real troll does, especially someone that's in boxing. So, uh, 50 said he's not starting shit. He's just telling what's really going on. But we know 50, promoter 50 is getting this going. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think below. And I go to this little fitness competition thing in T-Net, right? So I popped in there, check everybody out. And while I'm there, Big Baby shows up. And, you know, Big, big Baby, big heavyweight fighter. You know, and uh, he, he seen me come out with Deontay Wilder. So he's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready. I want the fight. And I'm like, okay. Now, I, people with Deontay kept, told me that they fought before. And they gave him a mild concussion. So I'm like, yo, you sure you want this fight? And he's like, what? Like, he's like, yeah, like I sparred with him mad times before. Yo, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna knock him out. Like, I'm like, okay. So now I'm, when he tell me he's gonna knock him out, I'm like, so what's what's really going on? I'm like, I, somebody lying to me, man. He, it, Deontay ended up telling me that they, the boy had a mild concussion. Like he put, put some, some pain in on that boy, right? Then, I run into him and he tell me he ready for the fight. He said he did spar with him one time after coming back from running and he was dehydrated and everything and he went to go. And then he said that little, the pretty little Asian girl that Deontay be with, I'm like, his, his, his girl? He said, yeah, yeah, his girl. He said, I, I bust her first. Fam. Like I was fucking her first and maybe that's why he is acting like he acting. And I'm like, what? This shit just came out of nowhere, blood. Like it was out of nowhere, cuz. For real, this shit just came out of nowhere. And then he just, I'm like, what the fuck? And he go, nah, I was fucking up. I was fucking up first. You know, maybe he got it and thought that that was something special because, you know, he's a country nigga. Like, we from New York, so shit is different, Phil. And I'm like, yeah, I think I understand what you're saying. You stirring shit, you stirring shit up, huh? The fuck are you talking about? I'm telling you. Well, the nigga randomly came up to me and told me for no reason. I was minding my business. The nigga came, told me some shit, and I said this shit. I'm like, whoa, these niggas really want to fight each other for some other shit going on. I'm just hipping you to what's really going on. Today, I'm bringing you Khalil Robinson. All his links are below. He's out of Kansas City area. Go click his SoundCloud or everything else. The music's dope, guys. Go check it out below. My thoughts got to glistening, people hissing, and visiting visions with precisions. With I make amends to get to get the cheese. Well, for Monica. Do, 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 yeah, that's same do, beat. Do, 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 now, do, do, the joint you did with Nas, was that before the shooting or afterwards? That was before the shooting. That was before, right? Yeah. Mm. Nas, yo, you let me tell you something. Look, people think I don't like Nas, right? I, I don't... You know what it is to play this? I was more hurt about Nas. Then, uh, it turned like the way I express myself is easier for me to express it angry. So it comes off like that when I start talking about him. Because I got frustrated about the situation. Because he, I mean, like, 
with the whole the whole crew, like he was in position, cool. For real. You know he, this. He used to he used to beat you up though crazy. Yeah, he was. I mean early on, and I'm like, yo, I rock with him. Like he took me on a, on a promo tour, first tour. Word? He took me on um Wow, Nostradamus. Nostradamus. Yeah, yo was I with was me. There too. Wow. It was just me and Yayo before, this is before Banks came to picture anything. You know what I'm saying? He took me on his tour. We just riding with him, everything good. Like, I seen some things that was, like, instead of him actually vibing with everybody that was on the tour, like, he would have his, his book off to the side. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's his vibe, though. He keeps yeah, like, himself. That's how he is, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't understand how, when he was in position, how he didn't do anything to set up his crew. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the Bravehearts, like the town, Jungle, Wiz, Horse, all of them. And we was all in, on the same van together. We wasn't even on a bus. Right, right. Like, vans together, riding. And it was like, I was honored to even be allowed on his tour at that point, because I didn't have anything but how to rob at that point. You know, he just said, yo, that record feels crazy. It reminds me of when I came out. He had options. He could have took Nature. He could have took other, you know, his other artists around it with AZ. Fox, he could took whoever he wanted to take with him, you know, and he said, no, he wanted me to come with him. So I went with him. Did he have the, was the firm still popping back then? The firm, I don't think he liked anything that was a conflict to him shining as Nas. You feel what I'm saying? And, then, and that's my assumption after the fact. Because I didn't understand why he didn't utilize all that at that point. Like, even after Uchi Wilder came out, they had a smash, man. But you know what? Originally, he wasn't on that record. The record that when they gave me up on a mixtape, Nas wasn't on that record. Right. He hopped on at the end and then shot the video for it. But that's when it was working. It was working when they gave it to you, Clue. And then he got on the joint because it was working. And then he didn't travel with him to support it. What's <coughs> oh, the difference? See, I, I don't know about it. Right, ask, ask me this. What's the difference between Brave Fox and June? It's momentum. When I had the momentum, I worked them in, Clue. I could have sold a blank CD after Get Rich or Die. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying to you? That's the real deal, man. And then after we get going, like they was established, they got groomed. Yeah, he was already grown because he was with me even then. So when he's locked up and he's going through, y'all sounded crazy on a mixtape. Just on a mixtape alone, y'all sounded like you know yeah, what I mean. Like we was already veterans because yeah. we was like we was getting bumped, knocked around. As far as the, the, the game was concerned, everybody who had money, that's why I was getting my ass whooped. Man. I, that's what was happening. You, you know what I knew was really on? I knew it was really on when I heard the freestyle that Shy Money dropped off. It was just really banks on there. You had a couple balls in there. Victor. That's when I knew it was on. <laughs> when we heard that, we knew it was on. <laughs> It was either victory or the, or the bench workout. Riding through workout. the Rutgers, yeah. pride on the chuckles, the yeah. sprinters, <laughs> the oh, workout. Yeah, that's the joint right it's there. It's coming. So what's up, what's up with G-Unit, man? It's like, you kind of got angry, aired out one time. Yeah, you know what it is? I think I was building something that was unhealthy because it was running solely on my energy. And it took for them to reach a point, like, yeah, I think all of them was already made over $5 million, cool. Like, how much... That's that help that I was talking about, though. At that point, if White Nas had that energy, he could have helped them get into a decent space financially before going, you know what, y'all on your own. He didn't really give them that support and then said, now nah, y'all on your own. I still talk to Lord Spunk, the, like, the, the people who was there that wasn't a part of the music. Right, right. You know what I mean? And, we, I mean, we all good. It's just, I just, I didn't see him doing like, he just looked, and then his, his, his character is sometimes. Have you, have you seen him and spoke to him? No, nah, I haven't. Not, not at all? No. So not since then? And I haven't seen him. Wow. Yeah, like, I, I had a conversation. Look, he wanted to do the same thing that Jay did to him with Carmen, to Mega. Because he called me to get Holly number in Queens. Circle 5, and Mega was messing with it at the time. He was tight at Mega at the time. He sent me to go get the number. I went through there. And then after that, it was like, like he called me like three times that night to tell me what was going on. You know what I'm saying? And then when I did the Jennifer Lopez joint, I did a remix for Jennifer because the first thing I did is Puffy called me back to help him with the Make This Money. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And after I did that, then um, I was working with Jennifer. I did a remix on one of her joints. And then Irv started crying and Donnie and them and was like, yo, what are you going to do? This guy's exactly what he says he is on these records. You know what I mean? Why you want to do business? What happens when he gets mad and he does this? something to Jennifer. So he was kind of using wow. me against me at the time and then 